I'm Rene Ritchie, and we're gonna unbox the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro and just all of the amenities right now. Sponsored by Brilliant. So first up, we have the charging brick, which is sold separately now. You do not get one of these in the box with your iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 Pro or any iPhone anymore. And this is the new 20 watt charging brick, USB-C 20 watt charging brick. And as always, Apple makes it super easy, barely an inconvenience to just pull the tab off the back, open that up, new tab, pull that off. And inside here, we have the charger itself. Pops right out. And no surprise there, it looks like an Apple USB-C charger. Next up, the MagSafe charger. Again, pull the tab, pop it open, and inside we have this booklet, no stickers, made sure I check that, so pluck them and file them for floss. And then in here, we have the actual design by Apple in California, the charger itself, MagSafe charger. And on one end, USB Type-C. Everything is just USB Type-C now. And on the other end, you have the disc. And if you're wondering, it looks similar to, but not identical to the Apple Watch charger. They're both magnetic and inductive, but it's not anywhere nearly as thick and it's not anywhere nearly as shiny. Next up, we have the wallet case. And this just pulls out. And then here we have the actual wallet. So I don't know if you can see, but there is an embossed apple on the, on one side, Let's see if I can get it to catch the light. And then just a little pull area on the top. Tells us helpfully to put credit cards in, but I can fit three cards in here, at least so far, which is just way less than a dedicated wallet. Cases, and because the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro are the same size this year, they share cases this year, so there's no more, I wish I could get this Pro case for the non-Pro, or I wish I could get this regular case for the Pro. You can just get all the cases for all the 6.1 inch iPhones. Comes right out, one hand pluck, and there's the case. Blue case, square design, and the round magnetic pattern for MagSafe, just right on the inside. Number two, and here you can easily see the magnetic circle on the case. It's just, it's just wicked obvious. So you've got to really want to lean in to the new MagSafe ecosystem to really enjoy these aesthetics. And it says MagSafe designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, serial number, iPhone. And now the co-main event, iPhone 12. Got the tab to pull. And this box really is smaller. It's sort of wicked obvious and apparent uh, what the actual difference is. And what do we have here? iPhone 12, USB-C to lightning cable, power adapter, and headphones sold separately. And this is iPhone 12 Blue, 256 gigabytes. And inside, easiest Apple unboxing ever because you have USB-C to lightning now, small Apple sticker, SIM card tool, and here we have opaque screen protector, so there's no ambiguity about whether you should leave it on or off. It's coming right off, and yeah, the design that harkens back, for me at least, to the iPhone 5 and 5S and the original SE, which I'm holding here with it just squared off aluminum. Even when compared to something like the iPhone 11, which is the same size, same 6.1 inch size, but is rounded, <laughs> trying to get it on camera, but is rounded off instead of square. So it looks almost optically thinner, but it doesn't feel that way. And now the piece de resistance, the main event, the headliner. And again, the box is just, when you start looking at the profile, it is way smaller than just the standard, the regular sized Pro model uh, has been. And this one is iPhone 12 Pro Pacific Blue, 512 gigabytes. Set this aside. Same USB C to lightning cable, same lack of a power brick, same package, same sticker. Same pluck. And then here we have the 12 Pro and same uh, opaque 
screen protector. Not a real screen protector, just what they put on to protect it in the box. And this, of course, is way more, at least to me, like the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S design because of the stainless steel bands around the sides. And if we put it side by side with the 11 Pro, you can see the camera bump is bigger this year because the cameras are bigger this year. But otherwise, you have that curved versus flattened sides this year, and that makes for a very different feel. And here is the iPhone 12 versus the iPhone 12 Pro, both the blue models. You can see the difference. The blue 12 is a richer, deeper blue, while the sky blue almost has a little bit of a teal look to it. And because people keep asking, you do have this window on the phones, this RF transparency window, and that's exactly what it is. It's not a secret uh, smart connector or Apple Pencil charger. It's just a little cutout in the antenna ring for the MM wave signal in the US uh, for Verizon, for AT&T. Now for the fun. So it, it doesn't clamp on as violently as I thought it might. And if you put it on wrong, you do have to move it around till it finds that sweet spot. But it does lock into that sweet spot and gives you access to your wallet on the back of your phone. And it's fairly easy to pull off, put back on again. And then the clear case. Almost a sporty, almost a flag look. I guess it depends if you're into that or not. And the non-clear case. So I typically rock my iPhones without a case, but this looks really nice. And then of course we have the charging pad. So this should go on regardless of case or not. Yeah, it just finds its place. Very similar to the Apple Watch, but is it as satisfying? I don't know. I'll have to test this for a while. Launch that Apple ASMR channel. <laughs> I've been not planning to. This one without the target, I guess you just gotta, yeah, aim for the apple. It feels, it does feel satisfying. There's a great deal of YouTube cliche satisfaction in this. And same exact thing, of course, without the case. Just aim for the apple logo. And if you get it wrong, just move it around until you feel it snap into place. And it's a very clear thunk feeling. <laughs> apple ASMR. Still joking. <laughs> Check out Brilliant's new neural network course. It has this example of how, like if you lose your keys in your room and you really need to find them, even if you have no idea how to structure your guesses, you can still get better round after round. You can figure out your strategy based on the feedback of things like wall tile color, and you can find your keys in surprisingly few guesses. Sort of like how Apple's Find My Network works, but for keys, and who could ever imagine that? Brilliant's a website and app with over 60 interactive courses in math, science, computer science, logic and deduction, physics, quantum mechanics, game theory, cryptocurrency, and yeah, neural networks. And there are no tests, no grades. You just pick a course based on what you're really interested in and you get started. And if you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. You just check out the explanations to find out more and keep going. Go to brilliant.org slash Renee Ritchie and sign up for free. Just click on the link in the description or go to brilliant.org slash Renee Ritchie and the first 200 of you can also level up with 20% off the annual premium subscription. And clicking on that link just really helps out the channel. For more, much more on the iPhone 12 and just all of the new products Apple's bringing out this fall, click on the playlist right here. I'm doing all the unboxings, first looks, reviews, and deep dives. So click on the playlist and see you next video.